From the monsters of the past comes a new generation dedicated to reversing the evil image of their forefathers. Under the leadership of none other than Count Dracula, known as Big D, three teenagers form the Do-Gooder group, named the Dracula. With special powers, they can transform into super mighty monsters and use their skills against all evildoers, especially the diabolical Dr. Dread and his renegade rescuers, Toad, Fly, Mummy Man, and Vampira, a group known as Ogre, the organization of generally rotten enterprises. It's right versus wrong, good over greed, niceness against naughtiness. That's the dedication of the terrific trio, Frankie, Howler, and Drax Jr., the Drag Pack. After taking care of desperately Dr. Dredd on his last creepy caper, I figured we need this vacation. Oh, yeah! And it looks like you ordered beautiful weather, too. And let's not spoil it by thinking about a Dr. Dredd. Well, believe me, we won't have to think about Dr. Dredd, and I'm sure he's not thinking about us. Oh, yes, I am. And wouldn't you like to know what I'm thinking? vacation spot. Okay, Pac, it's relax time. You mean splash time. I'll race you to the lake. Last one in is a bucket of bolts. The first one in is in for a cool reception and a hard landing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Frank. That's what I call boy. That's what I c c call uh, ice water. I don't believe it. The lake is frozen stiff. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. No, not quite. This is the weirdest thing you've ever seen. A summer snowstorm? Summer or not, I'm freezing. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Another first for the all-time most despicable, dastardly villain in the world. But, and very modest besides, Dr. Dredd. My masterpiece, the Dr. Dredd Dreadful Weather Machine. The secret lies within this ancient brewing vessel. It cooks up a tiny storm, and with my computerized solid-state system, I have amplified the proverbial tempest in a teapot. I'll rain on everybody's parade! Oh, Dr. Dredd, the whole world will be singing about you. Really? Magnificent me? Yes. Oh, fiendish Dr. Dredd, how could you be so mean? For to invent such a terrible machine, tornado smash, hurricanes lash, and lightning hits the scene. There is no place on Earth that's safe. From Dr. Dredd's machine. <laughs> How poetic. Not bad, Toad. Not bad at all. Good, Toad. Good, Toad. Hey, I look at that little thing. Pull yourself together, Mummy, and stop growling. We have work to do. Work, work Dr. Dredd? Yes, we must remove the threat of Drag Pat's interference before my newest, most evil, world-shaking plan can be realized. Okay, Pac, let's tell Big D about this freaky phenomenon. It's communication time. I hope he's awake. Uh-oh. Big D, uh, wake up. Wake up. Whoa, whoa. Big D, are you all right? Ooh, what's happening? Instead of retiring, maybe I should have hibernated. Well, well, speak up, you young noodle noggins. We don't know for sure, but we think Dr. Dredd is fooling with the weather, Big D. He's not fooling. He means it. It's enough to make your blood run cold. Hey, looks like Dread Pack time. And step on it. Oh, boy, this place is as cold as a tomb. Oh, kids today. Oh. How are we going to find Dr. Dredd in this blizzard? 
I have a feeling he'll find us. He's up to something. There's a pesky pad falling into my trap. Quick, the snow scoop, my man. Is that rumble in the motor? It's a giant snowball headed this way. Time for a crack whack pack. Whack whack -o. Okay, Frankie, hold it till I check that weirdo clown with my bat radar. Lower the periscope, fly. Yes, Dr. Dre. Just as I suspected, Frankie, the dredgeable is in that clown. Yeah, but where do I put this? Lay it on that crazy clown. Okay. Good shot, Frankie. Is this part of your spectacular plan, Dr. Dre? Of course. Now my next move. Uh, certainly, Dr. Dre. And I'm sure you'll think of something brilliant. I already have! Retreat! That's brilliant! How are you clever, your rottenness? Oh, we! Look! They're leaving! And so are we! Come on! First, I'll whip up a fast heat storm. This will melt us out of this snow. Brilliant, Dr. Dre! A real hot idea! <laughs> I'll float ahead, full speed. I suppose Dredd will try to lure us into one of his traps. Well, it's a chance we'll have to take. Ha! Ah, they're following us. I'll soon take care of them. Another trap, Dr. Dredd? Oh, good. I've had traps. What kind of trap? This kind, huh? What trap? Keep your shot and you'll see. But the drag pack won't. <laughs> don't get too close, Frankie. We don't want Dredd to see us. Oh, I don't think we have to worry about that, Drac. He must have seen us already. He's using the Ogre Phony Fog Bank. Ha! I should have known. Well, I think I can see through that little caper. Well, I can't see anything. As a bat, I can find my way in the dark. I'll fly ahead and you follow. All right, Pack. Turn on the bat tracer and stay close. We lost them in my mixed up murky mist. Well, that takes care of the drag pack. Deliciously diabolical, Dr. Dredd. Yes, now to the business at hand. Set a course for dread quarters. Toad, take a letter. Uh, let's see. How about X? Or a Y, maybe? No, oh, you mini mind mutton head. I want to dictate a threatening letter. Oh, goody. Those are the best kind. Uh, I'm ready, sir. Who is the letter to? To who? To the world! Oh, my, that's a lot. I don't think I have enough stamps for that. Just one letter, you sniveling scribe. I'm thinking. <laughs> Announcing the incredible Dr. Dredd's weather service, which will provide the nastiest, most miserable weather the world has ever seen, unless I am given the respect you may. What it is? Brilliant, beastly, and basically bad. And furthermore... <laughs> See what, you clumsy cocoon? Drag back. Yeah. Drag back? That's impossible. So that's the game, is it? A seeing eye bat. Uh, what are you going to try now, Dr. Dredd? Huh? 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 Cease that infernal sputtering! My machine will take care of the drag pack. Let's see. I got it. We'll put a little ice on the wing. Hey, what's going on? That dreadful Dr. Dread is icing my wings. Come on aboard. Phew. Whatever Dread is up to, he sure doesn't want us to find out about it. Hear me? You look a bit under the weather, young man. Frostbite leaves me kind of cold, Dread. Da, da, don't be so testy. You're the first to feel the chilling effects of my weather machine. With it, I'll be the only one who can do anything about the weather. I plan to dust storm all outdoor gatherings. Wave advisory. Hurricane every lake and park. Flash flood the countryside. Quick freeze. 
blocks all the water supply. Tornado toss and reveal the problem. But now, I have broken off a giant Arctic iceberg, motorized it, and sent it churning toward New York Harbor to deal it a crunching blow. All new to my technological amplified Tempest in a teapot. You're a monster, Dread, but we'll stop you. Uh, you'll have to find me first. Ta ta! We'll find you, Dread. We'll search everywhere. We'll never give up. Uh, Dread? We'll search to the ends of the earth. We'll. Uh, Dread! Uh, what? Forget the Academy Award performance. Look down there! That's it. That's Dread's iceberg. Are you sure? Have I ever been wrong? Well, frankly, uh, you know. Never mind. Just send that order for ice back. Take her down, Frankie. <laughs> Zounds! Drax landing on the decoy iceberg. He fell for my trap. I knew he would. We've looked everywhere. And no secret entrance. Keep looking. It's got to be here somewhere. Yes, my faithful friend. Watch this. A little heat wave will put the pack in hot water. I'm certain that he's up to some sneaky, underhanded trick. I think you mean underfooted. Huh? I don't know about you guys, but I got a sinking feeling. There's a tropical island up ahead. Come on, let's make for it. Yeah, that'll be a breeze. And give us one, Howard, please. Gotcha. <gasps> We're going ashore. Hey, look, just what I need. Oh, I'm as thirsty as an alligator in the desert. A coconut. Hey. It looks more like a dreadnought. So, you escaped from my decoy iceberg, didn't you? Yes, and as soon as we find the real one, we'll stop you cold. That giant iceberg is just the beginning of my truly stupendous plans for the weather machine. Ah, that's Drac. What plans? I'm surprised that you, Drac. You know I never discuss plans except in secret meetings. Oh, boy. Another dumb meeting. Did I say dumb? This is double dumb. When he said I'll meet you at my pad, I didn't think he meant Lily pad. Greetings, Clack. That's Drac. Whatever. Allow me to enlighten you about my latest brilliant evil scheme. Oh, I can hardly wait for Dr. Drake's signal. This is my big chance to show him how valuable I am. You mean you intend to blackmail the world? Or you'll fog in airports, cripple cities with blizzards, and... And, and sell farmers rain by the poor. Exactly. In one hour, my monstrous iceberg will destroy New York Harbor. And then on to bigger and even nastier things. I... I don't believe it. Perhaps a little demonstration will convince you. Toad, it's time for a tiny tornado. Oh, yes, Dr. Trent. Wait, yeah! Told you flip the frog, not me! Help! Okay, Dread, I'm convinced. You are a mixed-up monster. Get me out of this, you warm covered wretch! Oh, yes, yes, right away, Dr. Dredd. That's better. Now to get back. Oh, no! Yeah! Wait till I get my hands on that hop-along casual you mean we only have one hour to find the weather machine? That's right. Otherwise, that giant iceberg will hit New York like a glacier and let... First, we get off this island. Say, uh, Drac, maybe this island is a hollow and the weather machine is underground. Frankie, that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> yes! Uh, where are we? Well, Frankie, it's perfectly obvious. The island is hollow, and we're in an underground tunnel. I'll bet the weather machine is hidden down there. Wrong, Drax. But we do have some other surprises. Right, Ogre? Yes, Dr. Capture those meddlers. After them. All right, let's split up. It'll speed up the search. Good idea, Drac. We'll just go down this uh, dark and scary tunnel and... Uh, Come on, Frank!
still trying to figure out what happened. But I'm not. V Vampira. Exactly. And Vampire is not afraid of mice. In fact, I'm very fond of rodents like you. Uh-oh. The old cat and mouse game. And not a mouse hole in sight. of a different color. I mean, dog. You know what I mean. It's no use, you phony feline. I've got you cornered. Pretty clever, Vampira. But not quite clever enough. You have to get up pretty early in the morning. Outsmart me. I wonder if the weather machine is in there. Oh, it's so dark. I wonder if the weather machine is in here. They'll never recognize the world when my weather machine gets through mixing it up. Uh, where should I put the Atlantic Desert, Dr. Dredd? Over the Atlantic Ocean, numbskull. Where else? Oh, executive thinking. <laughs> oh, what fun! This will be the Sahara Ocean and the Hawaiian Ice Cap. Uh, uh, how about the Death Valley Canal? I will handle the world warping, you web-footed weirdo. You just tend to... Oh, the black sand. That's pat. Whatever. Just in time. I'm naming this spot in your honor, the Drag Pack Tar Pits. Very fitting, since as crime fighters, you three really are the pits. Even now, my giant iceberg is here in New York, and I must fly there to enjoy its imminent destruction. And since I have no further need for this island, or you either for that matter, I shall destroy it with a tidal wave. Ta-ta, gentlemen. Oh, a tidal wave. Can I stay and watch? <laughs> what am I saying? Let me out of here. Hmm. We seem to have a problem. I'll say we do. Yeah, the tidal wave. I don't care about the tidal wave. but those bitches and I can't scratch it. <laughs> that feels good. All right, let's get moving before Dread puts the freeze on New York. There she is, my little frosty toy, about to give New York a very icy reception. And we are just in time to see it flatten Staten and Manhattan. Goody, how poetic. Oh, I almost wish the track had me here to witness my moment of triumph. Yo! Nothing can stop that monstrosity! New York is a done for. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't be too sure. We can do it if... How beautiful. An iceberg in Brooklyn, huh? Oh no, not him again. Ugh, how crude, making faces. Dr. Dredd, look, it's revolting. Not now, you animated amphibian. I will not be disturbed in this glorious moment. Yeah, all right for you, Dr. Dredd. I'll just handle this myself. Dr. Dredd is going to be so proud of me. Uh, stand still, you troublemaker. This will shock him. Uh oh, Toad! What have you done? Oh, bad Toad! Bad Toad! Wait till I get my hands on you, you brainless <laughs> bump! I can explain, Dr. Dredd. Brainless! Sneak! On the double pack! Come on! We've got to get that weather machine! Now, destroy this diabolical... Look! Everybody hide! Crank up my iceberg, will you? They're gone. There. Cradle old rain in the face tries to use his weather machine now. 
I got a feeling dreads in for some stormy weather. We'll soon find out. Oh, I've got you, you double crossing cream. Your mother has webbed feet. See, Dr. Dredd, see? The drag pack. They made faces at me, just like I told you. So that's just the meddling grand pack, is it? Well, we'll just see how they like a taste of some heavy weather. Magnificent machine! What went wrong? It's an inside job, Dr. Dredd. Or hadn't you noticed? Someday I'll get you for this drag! Some sunny day, please, Dr. Dredd. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back.